Hello! In this video, we're going to talk about column and view formatting in SharePoint. As we all know, in SharePoint, list views can look dull and uninteresting. Lots of gray and white. However, Microsoft now provides an API and the capabilities to do all kinds of formatting to your list view data. And that's what we're going to focus on in today's video. We're going to look at how to use those features and we're going to go through some working examples. So now let's get SharePoint smart. SharePoint Online and I'm looking at one of those plain vanilla list views that I was just talking about. This is just a simple projects tracking list that I set up and as you can see I haven't done any formatting or anything special like that. However, we're going to change the look of this list quite dramatically. And the next thing I want to do is show you a free tool that you can use. It is SharePointDashboards.com. If you go to that site, all you need to do is click on the green Get Started button. Once you arrive in the site, you're going to see some information and there's a list of templates. And we're going to go through some examples today. So we're going to start by showing a view formatting example and we're going to look at this alternating rows format. So this is just a way to give some shading to alternating rows. And then in this tool, if I want to, I can actually pick different colors and things like that. I'm just gonna go with the defaults. Once I have everything the way I want, I just click on the button right in the middle of the screen to get that code. And now we'll take a look at how this works. There are two types of formatting. There's column formatting and view formatting. In the first example, I'm going to format the view. And the way you do that is to go to the list view drop down and just pick the option that says format current view right there at the bottom. Now, Microsoft is going to present you with some of their formatting options, which can be good just for basic formatting. However, in the examples today, we're going to go a level beyond that and do our own. So we're going to use advanced mode because we already have the code we want. Just select all that code and replace it with what you have copied from the tool that I was showing. So I can hit save and instantly you can see it reformats my view. Now with the tool I was showing, if I want to change the colors, I can tweak that very quickly to do whatever I want. And if I want to undo that, I can just go and format the current view. I can select all and just delete it. I'm just hitting backspace and save, and I'm right back to where I was before in case I did something I didn't like. Okay, so now let's look at another example. I've got a column I made called update. It has nothing in it, and this is what I would call a placeholder field. I'm gonna to wanna to put some buttons here. Specifically, I want a button that I can click on to edit that list record. So going back to this tool, I'm going to go back to this templates list. I'm going to pick the edit button option, and I'm actually going to change the font size. I'm going to make that 12, uh, which is a little smaller than the default. I'll click the copy code button. And now, in this case, I'm going to do column formatting. So instead of view formatting, I'm going to go to the column header. And then in the column header, you're going to see that there's an option under column settings called format this column. And then the side panel opens up. It looks just like the side panel that we saw when we were doing view formatting. I go right back to advanced mode, select all and paste and save. Just like before, the update happens instantly. If I don't like these colors or I want to do different options, that's very easy to deal with. Um, let's just say, for example, I want to do a different color scheme. Instead of green and green light, let's just say, for whatever reason, I like blue. So I'll do 
blue and then blue white and I'll have a blue color scheme instead. That updates this code that you see in the page automatically. You don't have to touch that. You can copy and go back to the formatting and again just simple copy paste save. There now we got a blue button so you can see it's very quick and easy to adjust. Okay there's an edit button let's do some more. So the next one we have is a status. I want to see some different colors depending on which status is selected. So let's go and find a template for that. So in here, there's a template for column, status, background color. That's the one I want to use. In this case, what you do is set up colors based on different values. There are just some defaults here that I like. They happen to match my list for not started, in progress, on hold, cancel, and complete. So I'm going to go ahead and use those. I'll copy those in, and then I'm going to come back to my list. And just the same as I did before, column settings, format the column, and paste. There you go. Now I can see some distinct colors, a nice green for complete or pink for on hold, that type of thing. And I can adjust those to whatever colors I think look best. Okay. Next, we've got a percentage. A lot of people like to see a progress bar. Let's show a progress bar according to a percentage value. In our templates list, there's an option for progress bar dynamic. And in the preview window, it's going to show me and give me an idea what that's going to look like ahead of time. But I can pick different color options if I want. Let's go ahead and change the yellow to orange and we'll uh, go with that. I'll copy the code and let's change our percent column. Once again, go to advanced mode, paste and save. And there you go. There's the progress bar. So these are going to change dynamically and automatically whenever that percentage value gets updated. What's interesting here is we have threshold values. So what you might notice is the ones that are almost full are green and the ones that are smaller have a different color. So we actually have some rules in the template that allow us to define different colors according to how full that progress bar is. Quite handy. Okay, and then the last one we have, it's called pi percent. We want to show a little pi that's filled up according to the percentage value. So it's just a different kind of look. Okay, in here we've got a template for pi percent. We'll go ahead and stay with those uh, default options. I'll copy the code and I'm going to go to that column. Pants mode, paste in, boom. I'm sure you'll agree that this list now looks completely different than what we started. Things are a lot more interesting. Now, probably I don't want to use all of these options together. That might be a little bit overwhelming, maybe too over the top. However, adding a couple or three of these fields into your views is going to make them much more dynamic and visually appealing. So that's how you can use this tool to tap into column and view formatting very easily in your modern list views. Now, if you're curious to learn more about column and view formatting, you can go to the Microsoft page, which I'll link below, and you can read about their API for column and view formatting. In general, this uses JSON formatted code. It's a series of nested statements in code that give instructions to SharePoint and the browser to tell it how to render the information visually. There's all kinds of different possibilities. There's different things you can do. On the whole, it's very developer oriented and working with the syntax can be quite tricky, but it is interesting to read about and it's something you can explore further by following the link that I provide. Okay. So 
we've taken a really close look at what view and column formatting can do for us. There are so many possibilities of what you can do here. And in future videos, I'm going to show other examples of other different interesting things you can do, including options with charting or maps or all kinds of other dashboards, many kinds of possibilities. What's great about what I showed today is that it only requires you to do simple configuration of picking colors or font size, and then you do a copy and paste to your SharePoint view. So it's lots of fun and it's easy to work with. You should get started by first making a practice list and doing some practice there to get comfortable and learn how this works. Once you get more comfortable and the more you use this, you'll start to establish your favorite templates and your favorite settings in those templates. So you just have to keep repeating and using this and you get better and better as you go along. So now you know the basics and it's time for you to go have some fun with list and column formatting in SharePoint. Thank you.